The Rise of Kiyoshi was an amazing book, and here are some updates on the sequel titled Shadow of Kiyoshi. If you're new here, we do plenty of Avatar videos, including episode reviews, theory, and some analysis, so please consider subscribing. In this video, I'll be diving into what the sequel to the Rise of Kiyoshi novel could be about. The video will include writer FCE's comments, the official synopsis that was just released, and some speculation by me. Beware there will be spoilers for the book Rise of Kiyoshi. Let's start off with the official synopsis for The Shadow of Kiyoshi. It states, Kiyoshi's place as the true avatar has finally been cemented, but at a heavy cost. With her mentors gone, Kiyoshi voyages across the four nations, struggling to keep the peace. But while her reputation grows, a mysterious threat emerges from the spirit world. To stop it, Kiyoshi, Ranji, and their reluctant allies must join forces before the four nations are destroyed irreparably. This thrilling follow-up continues Kiyoshi's journey from a girl of humble origins to the merciless pursuer of justice still feared and admired centuries after becoming the Avatar. So, what can we take away from that? Well, Kiyoshi will be traveling around the world, and if I had to guess, it would be on Pain Pain, which was Kelsang's bison. I think it will be confirmed that Pain Pain is her spirit animal, the way Appa and Naga are to Aang and Korra, respectively. And I think that absolutely makes sense, especially seeing that Kiyoshi is half air nomad. One of the big questions here is, did Kyoshi ever master all four bending principles? Her training went by pretty quickly. She didn't really seem to learn about the properties of each element or the spiritual side of it. So maybe part of her trip is to also continue her training. I find it interesting it says her reputation grows. It must mean she has even more epic encounters like the one with Ju. The biggest threat of this book would probably be some mysterious spirit. As the synopsis says, a mysterious threat emerges from the spirit world. This can mean a few things. The spirit that took Yoon, or maybe even Ko the Face Stealer. Both I think are possible. I could definitely see it being that spirit that took Yoon. It would seem appropriate to learn more about Yoon, and what better way to do that than to bring up the spirit that took him? Ko makes a lot of sense, given the last page of the Rise of Kyoshi novel. At the end, Kirk visits Kyoshi and says, Kyoshi, I need your help. Kirk probably insists that Kyoshi stop Ko, the face dealer, and free his wife. And honestly, I would absolutely love that. I mean, just hearing Ko, the face dealer's voice in my head while I'm reading would just add a whole new layer to the book. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily plausible within canon because we've brought up Ko, the face dealer, before and he's never been brought up with relation to Kyoshi. Or I guess you could say he was and say that Kyoshi was the one that he was speaking to Aang about that was trying to kill him and that statement would still hold true. I'm sure it warms everyone's heart that Ranji and Kyoshi will be reunited. The way they left them in book one almost felt like their relationship status was unknown. And it does look like they will be headed to the Fire Nation, specifically the Fire Nation Royal Palace. On Twitter, the author, L.C. Yi, writes that Kyoshi will be visiting the Fire Nation Royal Palace. On his Twitter, he says, Currently trying to figure out how many Fire Lord portraits there would be in the gallery before Sozin if Kyoshi were to visit the Royal Palace as a team. It's very difficult, I got a spreadsheet going and everything. This confirms a few things. One, that she will be going to the Fire Nation Royal Palace, and also that this book or some duration of it will take place not too far long after the events in Rise of Kyoshi, since he said Kyoshi would be a team. I have a very bad feeling that Ranji and Kyoshi will come at odds with one another. I've been speculating with fellow Avatar fans Jamie and Sean that somehow Ranji will end up as Fire Lord and will come into conflict with Kyoshi. I really hope that's not the case because I really love those two together. Minor detail, but I'm not sure Kyoshi will ever come into contact with Lao Ji again to learn his immortal technique. She might know all she already needs to know from him. Speaking of that crew, it seems there will be a new team avatar as Kyoshi and Ranji recruit some reluctant allies. The way we left the traveling opera band before seems like they were all really a tight-knit family and I don't think they will be reluctant at all to join Kyoshi on any mission. I have one final thing to speculate and that is just from one single word in the synopsis. And that word is continue. 
The synopsis says, this thrilling follow-up continues Kyoshi's journey from a girl of humble origins to the merciless pursuer of justice, still feared and admired centuries after becoming the Avatar. Now, the story of Kyoshi was supposed to be split up into two books. But if that's the case, wouldn't they use the word concludes instead? I might just be thinking too much about this or just some wishful thinking, but there could possibly be a third book. And I really hope there was. I had so much fun with this book. We also learned that apparently this book will only be 368 pages long compared to about the 440 pages that was The Rise of Kyoshi. And it looks like the publication date is July 21st of 2020. Anyway, let me know what you think of this news and any predictions you have for the shadow of Kyoshi. If you like this video, please like, comment, and consider subscribing. And sincerely, thank you for watching. I'm out.